Thanks, Emil. No, I'm good. Okay. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely. Put mine a bit of milk. I love this. Uh, you can have some of my suds. Actually, put some suds on. I don't normally use suds. Okay. What is in these suds? Special stuff. Special stuff? Yeah. Like what? No, that's enough suds. Lactose. I only go, I only go on one sud. Let me try it. I've never. <laughs> one one sud. Because I drink time. black coffee. I don't do. Oh, do you actually milk at all? Are you no, like, do I look like I drink milk. Are you like that? Do I look like a milk? Do I look like a milky man? Hang on, let me go. Yeah. No, they're suds are going to ruin it. I know they are. The suds make it, Debbie. They do. They do indeed. Yeah. When did you start telly? Uh, you have been on telly a while. Uh, three years ago. Why? <clears throat> I don't know why. What happened? I... Because I remember we, we... We worked together. Yeah. In radio. Which yeah, is, which and is, I remember one time you said to me, I would go into TV3 because they've asked me to audition for something. Oh, was it was at RTE. I don't remember which one. No, but the God, no, ten, that was 10 years ago when they asked me to audition for The Breakfast Show, the Ireland AM, which is now four, yeah. it's 14 years ago. Okay. Right. But I went on to do um, Midday when they had Midday panel. That was an early a, a start, wasn't it? Yeah. Midday? <laughs> Good God, I'm in bed at Midday. <laughs> Actually, it started at 10 to 12. I could never get my head around that. The show's called Midday. Right, yeah, okay. 10 oh, to Midday. 10 to Midday. It's like 6 1 news, isn't Absolutely. it? 6 1 news. Absolutely. Now they have the 5 30. So you the know Angelus exactly. is like 10 minutes before mm -hmm. Midday starts. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's but I've given it up now. Given up the Angelus? Yes. Good for you. Hard You've given news. up Midday? Yeah. I, just, I decided I'd just take a break from telly for a while, you know? Really? Yeah, I don't like being followed around Tesco, people looking at my shopping basket or coming up and saying You to wish. Me, I know, I'm you wish they I am did. serious. I've been called an FC, an F and C. A football like. club? <laughs> Who calls you a football club? Somebody, somebody shouted at me in um, Tesco in our team. There she is, the F and C. Well, what and did it you wasn't do? with the funny clown. Did you say something? No, I what hid. No, what did you do on telly that they called you that? I think I said that the, the job secret of land should be banned. Should be banned. You F and C. I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, my I like my coffee. I like, like my soul. Before you do that, would you like suds. some suds? Uh, Seriously, definitely. I not. reckon. No. I like, I've never had suds before. Check the suds. I like suds. some coffee black. Suds, suds, are suds are good. Suds are live good. a little. Live a little. Actually, I just got the ads sent to my phone on the next Pope. The odds on the Pope. The odds the on the next Pope. Okay. So we have who are we going for? Richard Dawkins, six hundred to one. He's the guy yeah. that doesn't believe in God. Right? Yeah. The whole Correct. God thing, right? The whole God thing. That's the name of his mm. book. I don't believe in God. It's the whole God thing by Richard Dawkins. Bono, one thousand to one. He is Pope already, though. So and that's Father, a demotion for Bono, isn't it? Saint, saint. Yeah. And Father Dougal Maguire, a thousand to one. Now, What's that all about, Ted? Father so Dougal Maguire isn't a real person, and they think that he has the same chance of being elected Pope as Bono, which I. That was Father Dougal McGuire is a real person. I see him on television. He's on Father <laughs> he's Ted. Here. Words of wisdom. Words of yeah. wisdom. Well, hang on um, a second, though. You said 98 FM. Right? We, was that the first place you ever. Because, no, because let me finish. Let yeah. me finish, damn it. Okay. Because I was working there when you started, right? Hmm. Was that your very first time ever? On air, because I remember you saying that to me, and I thought you were lying because that's, you're good at that. Well, Brian, I don't want to give you a big head, but you single handedly destroyed your career. my career. Go on then. Do you remember yeah. sitting in the studio, one of my first broadcasts? And was, it was it, yes. I did the sports roundup, as always, at half four, and you said, okay, all right, thanks you, very much. You, you got a picture, there's me in the studio, there's you, there's traffic person, and there's the news person doing yes. the headlines. Yeah. Right, Hugh's last. So I did my sports roundup, and uh, I finished up as normal. And Brian says, thanks very much, Hugh. And I say, oh, Brian, <laughs> just before we go, I have a joke that I'd like to tell you. You didn't. You did. did. You thought you were funny. Uh, well, we it's did. a funny joke. Okay. Uh, but it's not a very appropriate joke okay. for half four on a Thursday afternoon. On, tell us. On major market, mainstream. Uh, yeah. ABC One. Yeah. Um, yeah. You want to hear the joke? Oh, go for yeah. it. Not the whole joke, just no. where we stopped it. Okay. okay. Recreate it. Hang so. on, let's recreate the moment. 4.30 now. Hugh's got sports and blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Hugh. Brian, just stop you there. Uh, got a joke you might be interested in. My face. Okay. What's the difference between the A-team and the Spice Girls? Okay. I don't know, Hugh, what's the difference between the A-team and the Spice Girls. As he starts sweating. And, and I'm waiting to push the <laughs> buttons. Next, yeah, next. that's right. Microphone off. <laughs> One is a cunning array of stunts. No, yes, no, he did no. do it. He did do no. that. But we didn't get... The, yeah, he that's as far as nice. It's been nice working with you, Hugh, was the last thing before he <laughs> turned off the mic. Cue a phone call from a distressed mother who had a four-year-old in the back. 
saying to Brian, um, my four-year-old son is in the back and I'm disgusted yeah. at the joke. And Brian Q, said, Cue the hotline like ringing from all the, you know, the boss line. Exactly. Brian yeah. said, look, your four-year-old wouldn't have got the joke. No. And if you explain it to him, but I did also, idiot. I did also explain <laughs> that Hugh's mental capacity is of a four-year-old, so yeah. in a way that kind of on par. Sales in Did light of them, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Light of them as it was then. Oh, right, I see. That. Mm. How'd that go for you? <laughs> Short <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> in fact, when I handed in my notice, Martin Block, TV executive, turned to me and said, Hugh, you're a lovely guy. Everybody gets on very well with you, but by God, you are the worst <laughs> salesman we have ever had in our life. <laughs> so if you hadn't resigned here now, I'd have fired you next week. So you say you tend to bother him to get rid of you. That's very decent of you. So it was only an upward curve from there, really. You know? Indeed, can't, yeah. go, can't go any further down than that. I was saying to Debbie, how did she get into TV? Mm. How the hell did you get into TV? And I mean that in the nicest possible way, but how the hell did you get into TV? Well, you say I'm in TV, I mean, I'm behind the mic still. Well, you're still, you're there. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? There's a drinking game revolving around you. I found this out this week. Did you hear about it? Uh, no. You didn't hear about no, this? No, I generally block out. There's a drinking game, apparently, that involves you when you're doing the sports, when you're doing your rugby count. Do you want to know what it is? Go on. It's a, it's a guy that works in 104 was telling me sports. All lovely people in there. Anytime yeah. Hugh Cahill says absolutely. Shot. They're uh, half pissed by the time the game's over. Mm -hmm. uh, so listen to yourself. It's not like hearing your flaws in person <laughs> out to you. Out there. Hey, you've got yeah. a drinking game named after you. you yeah, yeah, this could be the... What would your drinking game name? What would that be? If oh. someone had a drinking game named after something that you do... Anytime I lost it after somebody else... Would that be it? Yeah. sex, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Raving alcoholic at this stage. You get to go on free trips though, because you were mm. just in Scotland and everything. I was in Scotland. I was in. Um, you were in New Zealand. The wonderful city, all the glamour locations. So Glasgow, yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. No, I don't like Glasgow. Edinburgh's actually pretty nice. Edinburgh's a hero. Yeah. yeah, I was in uh, about three weeks ago. I went up to North Wales. I don't know if you've ever been wow. in North Wales. That's like Liverpool. It's very hard. Very yeah. easy to get into. Very hard to get no, out. No, nothing. Obviously, obviously, I have cousins from Liverpool. Just thought I'd throw that in. It's the best mm. football team in the world. It's like saying some of my best friends are Liverpoolians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, 70s. Yeah, eighteen oh, seventies. Yeah. But yeah, Colwyn Bay uh, Colwyn recommended. Bay it's, the, it's the it's the black pool of North Wales. Complete with a pier. Yeah, yeah, that's the attraction apparently. Do they have donkey rides? Can't see whatever. There are a lot of donkeys there. Um, Still, they're not in our I suppose you could there. ride one if you were so inclined. <laughs> Kiss me quick, here comes the donkey. <laughs> or vice versa, as the yeah. case may be. But we got out of there. I had Frankie Sheen with me, so, you know. When you leave in someone's best not really to say, we got out of there, just tell them we left there. Mm. Oh, that kind of we made our way we voluntarily yes. out of said place. In a speeding vehicle with a machine gun in the back of it. Correct. Yes. But yeah, um, so yeah, lots of lots of glamour. I was in New Zealand last week. I know year. you were, because you know mm. how I know. Because I turned on the Rugby World Cup. I know we'll go to where we were in Auckland or whatever. There's Hugh Cattle, like, no, it's no, not. Yes, yeah, look at him. Yeah. Look at him. And then I'm thinking, did, you get, was a, did they fly your first class? I heard they no, 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 Brian. No, we paid for yeah. our own fares. They gave us an emergency row seat, which was pretty handy. That's first class. The leg room, yeah. and when you have Donald Lennon beside you, who's six foot nine. Well, when, you're, when, you're, when you're my I size, you need all the leg room you can get. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Big legs. But yeah, uh, six and a half weeks traveling around wow. New Zealand. It was great. It was great. Wow. Uh, probably the best moment. Um, we spent a lot of time going to pubs. You know in between match days as you do but we decided one night we'd take it easy of a Friday night we'd book ourselves four uh, tickets to the cinema right. so when we go in Auckland to the main kind of cinema the cinema the cinema the cinema so uh, Donald, the Donald, Donald Lennon the cinema yeah exactly thank you um, he booked the tickets went in uh, he walks up to the guy in the counter Donald's as I said six foot ten with a big moustache and humped over how are you doing my good man uh, four Lennon for captured <laughs> four Lennon your man looks up Okay, bro, Look, there's a the tickets. Oh, thank you, my man. Now, where would a fella get a few sweets for the pictures? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't, uh, sweets for the pictures. Are we in 1950s? <laughs> Cork. Or is that a euphemism for something else? <laughs> yeah, so grabbed him and we went. The film was grabbed. Did straight back a, to the pub. Did he get his sweeties for the pictures? He did. Pick and mix. And Apparently, he addicted to pick and mix. A nice which, uh, grab bag. <laughs> you never know that. I never realised how entertaining he was. No, he's not really. No, no it's a coffee, doesn't he? Yeah. He hasn't slept in three and a half weeks. You, you went to Japan and Korea, though. I did, yeah, for, yeah. for the World Cup 2002. Yeah. I know. That was great. <coughs> Excuse yeah, me. Yourself and Jim. Yeah, we got there, and uh, the pub that we're meant to broadcast from uh, had no ISDN line. I know, because I was on air <laughs> at the other end. Imagine, like, I was in Dublin, you're in Tokyo or whatever, yeah. running around apparently with the streets. Six people. months in the mail, like, you know, Kira yeah. Murphy, six months, you know, writing, writing emails. Are you sure you have an ISDN line? So oh, we're pushing our studio around in 30 degree heat yeah. in Tokyo, going, anybody like to put us up for 
two weeks. And he gets out of a lecture leg. You know, I know. You know. So yeah. we went into yeah. this place called the church, which was like, like a gothic place. Right. And it was a British pub. Right. We're thinking, uh oh, we better behave ourselves here. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> um, it doesn't work like that anymore. No, You've got to let it go. I, know, I can't. 800 years. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Anyway. <laughs> it's gone up. <laughs> it's five and a half weeks when it's done. 813. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was broadcast there, and then we went down to Korea. Mm. On this, um, this German man's bar who insisted that we drank vice beer before we went on air. How did you find the food there? Um, that's the first, that is the first and last time I had McDonald's. Mm. You know this whole horse meat thing, you know, they eat a lot of dogs in Korea. So well, here. In Korea, no, we, we... Yeah, but do they label it? If they label, they label it, it's it, okay. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, Contains it's fine. dogs. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Right. But we went to, Poodle, we went yeah. to a restaurant Poodle one noodle. night. Poodle noodle. Poodle noodle. I just had pictures, you know, of stuff. So we just pointed. Johnny Lyons was with us. And he ended up getting fingered and they gave you a finger. There you go. They keep with the amount of fingers. But this Korean man, anyway, took a, took a shine to me and, and um, paid for our meal. Bought well. me a bottle of wine, which is 55 pounds. Well, you know what that means. No. No. Took us to a club, right? It's a contract right there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you. So, took, us to, took us to a club, drank, um, got bottles of beer for us. We all signed karaoke, which was an absolute scream, right? So, mm. the next day we're Literally. Walk- yeah, yeah. Oh, was, we were yeah. so bad. Johnny screams, right? Indeed. Right. So, the next day we're walking down Wayno, as we used to say, that's where we were staying, and we see a man coming towards us, the little man, you know, to say, and we went, oh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. You were, I don't know what his name was. <laughs> and he completely ignored us, walked straight past us. Well, you know why? Because you, you, you dismissed him. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it. He was on his way to a solicitor <laughs> <laughs> trying to really get the contract back. Trying and to just, get the know. money back. Yeah. A bottle of wine. I think it was Jacob's Creek and his £59 yeah. or something. <laughs> Anyone want a copy? No, I'm going. No. I've got to go. No. I've missed.